हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी मीडियम रॉबिन से जेनेटिक्स का चैप्टर कर रहे हैं टूडे इस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी डाउन सिंड्रोम विच इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लिनिकल कंडीशन एंड दिस इज इन जेनेटिक टर्म्स इट्स अ ट्राइसोमी सो वेन वी से ट्राइसोमी दैट बेसिकली मीन्स यू नो दैट देर इज एन एडिशनल क्रोमोजोम एट पोजिशन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सो वी नो दैट ऑन ऑल द पोजिशन वी हैव टू कॉपीज ऑफ क्रोमोजोम सो पोजिशन वन मीन्स क्रोमोजोम नंबर वन वी हैव टू कॉपीज ऑफ क्रोमोजोम वन वन फ्रॉम फादर एंड वन फ्रॉम मदर सेम हैप इज पोजिशन टू एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर फॉर ऑल द क्रोमोजोमल पोजिशन वी हैव टू कॉपीज बट इन केस ऑफ डाउन सिंड्रोम एट क्रोमोजोम नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव थ्री कॉपीज राइट देर इज वन एक्स्ट्रा कॉपी बट वन थिंग विच यू हैव टू remember at the very start that not all cells in the body have uh, trisomy now there will be cells which will have three chromosomes at position 21 and there will be cells which will have normal two chromosome so the tissues will be a mix of having three chromosome and two chromosomes right and this pattern is uh, in particular जेनेटिक्स के ट्रम में इसे हम नाम देते हैं मोजाइक पैटर्न सो मोजाइक मीन्स के कुछ कलर कैसा होगा फिर कुछ कैसा होगा थिंग्स लाइक दैट ओके सो देर आर थ्री क्रोमोजोम एंड टू क्रोमोजोम सेल्स विद थ्री क्रोमोजोम एट पोजिशन ट्वेंटी वन एंड सेल्स विद टू क्रोमोजोम सो डाउन सिंड्रोम इज कैरेक्टराइज बाई एन एक्स्ट्रा कॉपी ऑफ जीन्स ऑन क्रोमोजोम नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑफ द क्रोमोजोमल डिसऑर्डर इज वेरी वेरी कॉमन एंड देर फॉर इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन पर्पजेज अबाउट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ अफेक्टेड पर्सन हैव ट्राइसोमी ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट कि डाउन सिंड्रोम में अबाउट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स हैव ट्वेंटी वन पे ट्राइसोमी ओके सो देर टोटल क्रोमोजोम इन अ सेल विच इज अफेक्टेड इज नॉट फोर्टी सिक्स बट रादर फोर्टी सेवन बिकॉज देर इज वन एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोम As mentioned earlier, the most common cause of trisomy is non-disjunction during meiosis. ये बात हमने पिछले वीडियोस में भी की है. The parents of such children are normal in all the respect. The maternal age is an important influencing factor. So if there is, uh, uh, usually they say कि अगर forty five के बाद है maternal age, so the incidence increases. Okay. So during gametogenesis, the gametes which are produced have uh, errors in meiotic divisions, and due to non disjunction, some of the gametes get abnormal uh, chromosome wall cell. Okay. The correlation with the maternal age suggests. that in most cases of meiotic non disjunction of chromosome 21 occur in the ovum indeed 95% of the cases uh, the extra chromosome is of maternal origin so that's actually because of mother's age so down syndrome is attributed to increasing mother's age the reason for increased susceptibility to the ovum to non disjunction with aging is not actually fully understood के क्यों 45 के बाद ये प्रॉब्लम आता है बट दैट्स व्हाट दे हैव सीन ओके नो इफेक्ट ऑफ पैटर्नल एज हैज बीन फाउंड सो नो इफेक्ट ऑफ फादर्स इंक्रीजिंग एज बट इफेक्ट ऑफ मदर्स इंक्रीजिंग एज हैज बीन नोटिस्ड इन अबाउट 4% ऑफ ऑल द पेशेंट विद ट्राइसोमी 21 द एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोसोमल मटेरियल इज प्रेजेंट एज अ ट्रांस लोकेशन सो दिस इज फॉर द 95% ऑफ द केसेस एंड देयर इज अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज ऑफ केसेस वेयर द एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोसोम इज नॉट बिकॉज़ ऑफ मियोरिक नॉन डिसजंक्शन बट इट इज रादर बिकॉज़ ऑफ some other chromosomal uh, issues such as translocation of chromosomes right now such cases frequently but not always are uh, familial so if it is because of translocation that is transferred from one generation to the other so that is familial okay that's not uh, uh, because of non disjunction or so 95% cases mein this is because of ovum ka issue non disjunction mother age problem 4% mein it's about uh, translocation of chromosomes uh, particularly robertsonian translocation iski humne pehle baat ki hai and approximately in 1% of the patients the trisomies are mosaics usually having a mixture of uh, jo main bhi bata raha tha mosaicism so down syndrome mein it is not uncommon to have mosaics okay right uh, then let's move on to the uh, next para the diagnostic clinical feature of uh, uh, this particular condition uh, is actually very very uh, clinically apparent so there are uh, babies whom you can just have a look and identify that these babies have down syndrome so they have flat facial profile they have palpebral fissures i.e. the fissures and they are kind of oblique 
um, there are so let's have a look at the diagram uh, figure 7.15 and then you may have an idea that what actually we are talking about so this is uh, to show you uh, the facial features right there is um, obviously epicanthic and flat facial profile so uh, features flat uh, you'll have a look at the face and you'll have an idea so there are some increases in the palms uh, patients represent with very commonly umbilical hernia um, the muscle tone is down intestinal stenosis is one of the feature they also have a lot of uh, different uh, cardiac anomalies including asds and vsds and other um, uh, congenital cardiac malformations they also have mental retardation and there is um, too much skin in the neck so uh, that's how you understand uh, the clinical features it's a trisomy 21 condition on chromosome 21 there is an extra chromosome and the incidence is actually uh, you see this is very common one in 700 births and the karyotype trisomy 21 type is 47 chromosomes in total um, xx plus 21 so plus 21 per extra chromosome here right and there is a translocation category so this category is actually the most common category which is in 95 percent of the cases translocation type is in four percent of the cases where there is a robertsonian translocation and then there is a mosaic per uh, type which is about one percent where some cells will have uh, 46 chromosome and some cells will simply have uh, 47 chromosomes so different types of cells will be there normal and abnormal cells okay there are other types of trisomies which we will uh, talk about them later on when we do other trisomies so trisomy 18 for example edward and trisomy 13 which is the patau syndrome but uh, at the moment we are dealing with trisomy 21 which is down syndrome so their iq is affected and uh, their intelligence is lower than the intelligence of uh, normal population uh, many of them approximately 40 percent of them have congenital heart problems as well including the septal defects av malformations and the septal defects may affect the atria as well as the ventricle okay and this can be cause of death in early infancy children with trisomy 21 have 10 to 20 fold increase um, you know developing risk for acute leukemia so that's very important to understand Virtually all patients with trisomy 21 older than the age of 40 also develop, if they reach to the age of 40, also develop neuropathic changes. And um, they, uh, they do not harbor normal immune response, so their immune response is also affected. Therefore, they are susceptible to a lot of infections and uh, their respiratory system gets infected. Uh, they have autoimmune issues. Obviously, they don't uh, spend a very good quality life. Despite all these problems, improved medical care has increased the longevity of persons with Down syndrome and they can, I mean, go up to, so you look at the median age, which is about 60 years. Although the karyotype of Down syndrome has been known for decades, uh, which is trisomy 21, bahut zyada pata nahi hai ki disease ka molecular mechanism hai kya. Studies of humans with partial uh, trisomy of chromosome 21 and mouse model uh, of trisomy have identified critical regions in the human chromosomes which actually are implicated in the disease process. Based on these studies, several gene clusters, each of which is predicted to participate in the same biologic manner, have been identified. For example, 16 genes are involved in the mitochondrial energy pathway, so that is affected. CNS pathway, metabolic pathways, however, we don't know for sure how does that happen. Much progress is being made in the molecular diagnosis of Down syndrome prenatally. So that's an important point. You diagnose the disease even before the baby is born. Approximately 5 to 10 percent of the total cell free DNA in the maternal blood is derived from the fetus and this blood can be taken out from mommy and uh, do the next generation sequencing and see if there is an extra chromosome. So this technique then is known as liquid biopsy. So imagine there is a mom and here's the baby inside the mom and the baby releases his or her cells in maternal blood. You take the maternal blood out. You have a very small percentage of baby cells there. You take the DNA, do the sequencing and now bang on, you know that there is trisomy 21 uh, you could now take decisions as per policy okay so uh, that was very very common well, let me tell you again very very common and all these uh, clinical associations are highly tested in examination so that's all about trisomy 21 i'll see you in another video very soon take care of yourself